In this video, we're going to check out more than 21 accessories to take your Samsung Galaxy S21, S21 Plus, or Galaxy S21 Ultra to the next level. Of course, there are links in the description, including one to get 5% off most products on the Samsung store. And yes, a lot of these accessories work on many other phones than not just Samsung phones. Now, it's no secret that Samsung phones have some of the best of the best displays out there. The beautiful AMOLED screen is bright, vibrant, has incredible contrast ratios, and on the Galaxy S21 Ultra, it's huge. Huge. That makes it great not only for viewing content, but playing games on. And crazy enough, you can play Xbox games on your phone. All you need is an Xbox controller and Game Pass to play games over the cloud wherever you are with a full-size controller, and it's pretty awesome. Now, if you want to do the same thing but without having to look around a big controller, the Razer Kishi provides the same experience but in a really great compact form that you can expand and collapse. Not only does it make it super easy to travel with since you can store the controller itself in your pocket or a bag, but you can charge your phone at the same time simply by plugging in the power through the USB-C port. That gets a thumbs up for me, and you can join by giving me a thumbs up on this video by hitting the like button. I mean, uh, you don't want to be left out, right? One of the great things to help so many of us stay sane this past year was getting out and active. In comes the Galaxy Watch Active 2. It's a great smartwatch that has a sweat-resistant band, a clean, smooth design that won't easily catch on your clothes while running around or working out, and easily tracks your heart rate and steps. And then there's the new Galaxy Watch 3 if you want a more traditional style for a watch. Both the Galaxy Watch Active 2 and Galaxy Watch 3 share most of the same software features like being able to check out your notifications, respond to messages, use the Bixby Assistant, navigate with the built-in maps, and more. The biggest differences are found in the hardware design and a little bit of extra storage for the Galaxy Watch 3. Now this next one you probably haven't seen before and it captivated me from the beginning just by looking at the packaging and unboxing it. The subtle, beautiful, and clean details of the box shows an incredible attention to detail with Braille writing throughout it from the outside to the beautiful instruction book down to the watch itself. This is the Dot Watch, a smartwatch with four braille cells that adapt so you can interact with and feel the time and date. You can even connect it to your phone over Bluetooth to receive vibration notifications that you can read, you can leave memos, check your battery level, and use it as a stopwatch or timer. And all of this is read through touch. There's a crown that you can rotate and a button to select or go home to make navigation easy. And there's even a touch surface at the bottom to navigate. I really love the design of the watch and its minimalistic round design and the easy to use charger and the beautiful metal loop with a magnetic strap. I love magnets, oh yeah. Most of all, I love that this is an option that focuses on accessibility. It's great for those who use Braille and even a great way to learn how to read it yourself. Check it out if you want a unique and helpful watch for yourself or a gift for someone else by clicking the link in the description. And thanks to Dot Watch for sponsoring this part of the video. This is a tile. I'm just kidding, this is one of Samsung's newest products, the Galaxy Tag. It's not just a tile copy though, this has ultra wide band in it. This is a fantastic technology that provides a more precise location tracking. And it works really well. You can even see it detect the proximity of the tag to the phone in the app. It works really well, it's kind of awesome. Now while you can connect your Samsung phone to a display over a USB-C cable to activate Samsung DeX and experience your phone in a desktop-like environment, you can run into the issue of it draining your battery really fast. With the DeX dock, you're able to not only take advantage of using Samsung DeX, but you can also charge your phone at the same time. It also helps that it stabilizes it so you can use it as a trackpad. Speaking of navigating by touch and attaching your phone to a display to use DeX, this is the Asus Zen Screen Touch. It's a portable display with a battery built in that you can navigate around DeX just like the screen on your phone. It also has a matte finish so you can use it outside or next to a window without much glare. It's also a great secondary work screen that you can use for so many things beyond beyond your phone, like your laptop, your game console, and more, wherever you want because of that battery. Having a battery is huge. Now here's a really neat accessory that I haven't seen mentioned in any other video. Do you know what it is? This is an NFC sticker. These things are crazy cheap and easy to put everywhere, but here's where they become amazing. There's an app called NFC Tools, and there's a pro version that I paid for, but essentially you can program the NFC sticker to automate different processes or actions when you tap your phone on it. So let's imagine a scenario where you have a sticker on your nightstand and you just tap your phone on it, and then it automates it to go into do not disturb mode, turn on the eye comfort shield that warms up the color temperature of the screen, and launches your sleep tracking app. You can do some pretty wild stuff with it and it's super inexpensive. You know what else is super inexpensive? Subscribing to the channel. In fact, if you do that right now, you get to do it for free. All it takes is one click and while you're at it, hit the bell icon so you can be notified when I post a new video.
Thank you. The DJI OM4 is the latest smartphone gimbal from the company and it allows you to connect your phone to it using magnets with an included sticky plate or clamp on plate. Using the gimbal with the app allows you to create super smooth videos easily in both landscape mode and portrait mode for social media. It even has subject tracking to make it super easy to make content on your own with little difficulty. On top of that, there's a tripod you can attach to it to make it easy to set it down to wherever you go and some handy controls on it to change the mode, the position, easily record or take a picture, zoom in and out and more. It's a really neat accessory for making content and it folds up super small and nice so you can pack it up and go. Now while the Samsung Galaxy S21 series and especially the Ultra have some of the best if not the best smartphone cameras to date, a problem still persists no matter what. All the other cameras outside of the main camera are inferior to the main camera in terms of image quality despite the convenience and benefit of having multiple focal ranges. Focal ranges being like the ultra wide or the telephoto zoom lens. Now one of the ways to fix that is with moment lenses and if you've been around a while, you knew I love them and I use them all the time. For all the major phone lines like the Samsung Galaxies, the OnePlus phones, the Google Pixels, and the iPhones, they have a smartphone case with a built-in mount they can just twist a lens onto, but I don't have a case at the time of filming this video for the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra, but it should be available soon if not already by the time you're watching this. Thankfully, I have this universal mount that allows me to make it work on any phone or device. I can even put it on my laptop. Now I can use the main lens for the best image quality while having different focal lengths. Now if you want to go super extra with the camera on your phone, you can get a B-script that allows you to put your phone in this beefy universal cage. You can mount a ton of different things on this cage like lighting, mics, and more. But the part I love the most about it is that you can buy this attachment which allows you to mount a Canon EF mount compatible lens to it and put it on your freaking phone. <laughs> I mean how outrageous is this? Now I can film a commercial and say it was all shot on my phone. Now you can't go out and buy this nice expensive phone and not protect it and make it your own. Channel sponsor Dbrand has brought back their robot camo skin and it looks amazing. It also protects your phone from scratches and your greasy hands. They have a ton of different skins to choose from to fit your taste and the look of your phone. I personally really love the MKBHD icon skins, the teardown skins, and the pastel skins in addition to robot camo. There are just so many options. They also have their Dbrand case that you can also customize. I have the MKBHD icon skin, the matte black one, but this thing can handle a lot of abuse. You can chuck it across the room or at a desk with confidence. Nice. Check them out by clicking the link in the description. Now Samsung has a fairly robust lineup of earbuds, like the Galaxy Buds Plus. These are a minor upgrade to the original Galaxy Buds with additional drivers, clearer sound, and deeper, more tight bass. They're definitely one of the more affordable options from Samsung, but it lacks a lot of advanced features like their other earbuds. At least it has wireless charging. Now the Galaxy Buds Live are the next tier up for Samsung earbuds and gains a form of active noise cancelling in a unique design. They're really low profile, but if I were to be honest, so it's not really my favorite earbuds to use as it doesn't really fit in my ear in a way that feels all that comfortable and the ANC is just, eh, okay. However, the Galaxy Buds Pro are fantastic. If you can and are willing to spend the money for the highest tier, you get fantastic sound that is among the best available for Android phones and with active noise canceling, which is pretty dang solid. Apple's still kind of leading the pack there though. But in terms of sound quality, way better than AirPods Pro. I love how open and clean the sound is and how tight the bass is. It's easily in my top three best earbuds for Android phones as the whole package is really great. Now unfortunately Samsung doesn't offer a robust over ear headphone option so we have to go with the ever popular Sony WH-1000XM4s 3.141592. These are among the best in terms of noise cancellation and the sound quality is pretty decent for a Bluetooth headphone with all that tech built in. They also look pretty great. I really like the Samsung 3-in-1 charger because you can charge up to two phones at a time and there's even a convenient spot here just for your smartwatch. I really love the clean, soft, matte design of this. It really passes that classy, minimalistic look test and has subtle labels so you know where to place your device. There seems to be six coils on the main surface which means you can mostly plop a device on it anywhere and it'll start charging. There are even little LED indicators to let you know if it's indeed doing just that. Now as we start to venture into the world again or go on another hike, you'll probably need a battery backup for your phone. I always like this Samsung one because it has a unique feature beyond just charging your phone through a traditional cable. If you look right here it has a wireless charging pad on it, which also works great for that smartwatch. Now an alternative charging option is this vertical charging dock that makes it really nice to have at your desk. It's at an angle, which makes it really easy to simply glance at for notifications, watching something off to the side, or listening to music. Now if you're like the people in my house, you've become at least a little bit more of a germaphobe than you used to be. This is Samsung's UV light cleaner that you can put your phone into for a few minutes to disinfect it. And on top of that, it'll charge your phone while it sits in there. It's a great clean 
design and is super convenient. Now imagine you're climbing Mount Everest or camping over the weekend, kind of the same thing, or doing any sort of thing that means that you'll be away from power for a long time, you should check out this insane 20,000 milliamp rev power charger, which is enough to charge the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra four times over. Oh, but there's more. It is more powerful than just being able to charge your phone. There's actually a full-size power plug on here to plug in your laptop or more other power-hungry devices. It can easily charge something like a MacBook Air or a 13-inch MacBook Pro. Now to round this out, you gotta have a charging option for your car, and the Roef Bolt Charger is a great option because it not only charges your phone, but it has a Google Assistant built in. You can press the button or say, okay, you know the thing, and interact with the Google Assistant as you would at any other time in your car. Now this next one is an exclusive to the S21 Ultra or any other smartphone that supports the S Pen. This is an S Pen replacement that's way more affordable than the official S Pen. This has to be a reverb or something, I'm not sure how the logo is on there otherwise. Anyways, this is great if you want to use it to create things, take notes, annotate documents, use it to navigate easily around your device, sign documents on the go, and create great animated GIFs. I mean, what's not to love? Let me know what your favorite accessory was in the comments and make sure to check out the links in the description to pick up anything that I mentioned in this video. Thanks for watching this is tech today until next time